Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The recently concluded exercise Balakatan 2024, held in Ilocos Norte, showcased the Philippine military's proficiency and strategic cooperation in countering simulated threats, amidst escalating tensions in the South China Sea and near Taiwan's southern coasts. As reported on the Facebook page of the Philippine Army, the joint military maneuvers with the United States involved nearly 17,000 troops, including observers from 14 nations, underscoring the exercise's regional significance. Live-fire drills featuring 155mm and 105mm howitzers were a highlight of the exercise, aimed at simulating responses to amphibious assaults. These drills were pivotal in testing the readiness and coordination of the Philippine military in the face of evolving security challenges. Of particular note were the advanced weapon systems introduced during the exercises, underscoring the commitment to modernization and readiness. The deployment of the Typhon ground-based missile system, with a range of up to 1,600 kilometers, and the high-mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS, renowned for its effectiveness, demonstrated a formidable deterrent capability. Additionally, the debut of the Sea Star naval missile system, capable of targeting up to 140 kilometers away, marked a significant milestone in the Philippines' defense arsenal. One standout participant in the live-fire scenarios was the Atmos 2000 self-propelled howitzer, procured from Israeli company Elbit Systems. Known for its mobility and potent strike capability, this artillery system played a pivotal role in enhancing the Philippine Army's firepower and response capabilities. Acquired as part of the Horizon 2 modernization program, the Atmos 155mm per 52 calories reaffirms the Philippines' commitment to bolstering its defense infrastructure against emerging threats. Strategically, the exercises were conducted beyond Philippine territorial waters, near the Spratly Islands and the western coast of Palawan, sending a clear message regarding the nation's defense posture in the region. The decision to hold the drills in these contested areas underscores the Philippines' resolve to safeguard its sovereign interests amidst competing claims. The deepening military and defense collaboration between the Philippines and the United States assumes paramount importance in countering regional challenges, particularly in response to China's assertive actions in the South China Sea. This partnership, characterized by joint exercises, strategic deployments, and modernization initiatives, underscores a shared commitment to upholding regional security and stability. Furthermore, the presence of international participants and observers, including France conducting nearby patrols, signals growing global interest in Indo-Pacific security dynamics. The convergence of diverse stakeholders underscores the complex geopolitical landscape and the imperative for collective action in safeguarding shared interests. In conclusion, Exercise Balakatan 2024 exemplifies the Philippine military's readiness and resolve in addressing contemporary security challenges. Through strategic collaboration and the integration of advanced capabilities, the nation reaffirms its commitment to preserving peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. That's all for now, see you later.